What's going on guys? Mike with Iceberg Gaming. In today's World of Warcraft gold guide video, uh, gold farming also, but mostly this is just a regular guide. I'm going to be showing you the best way to compete the flying on Deathwing encounter in... So this fight can be pretty annoying if you uh, if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, even if you do know what you're doing, it still can get annoying. But anyways, we're just... Uh, we're, what we need to do is just kill all but one of the corruptions and ideally you want it to be the one farthest away from Deathwing's front. Right now I got turned around and got the close one here. But anyways, once we have that, we're just going to sit here and wait for nine Corrupted Bloods to spawn. You can do the maybe he'll get dizzy achievement while you're waiting. It's just left, right, left, right, and just sit here in the Grasping Tentacle. This is the hole in his back once you kill the Corruption. If you just sit in it, you'll be stuck to his back and you won't fly off. The Corrupted Bloods do not fly off either, but the Hideous Amalgams do. So that's where this method comes in. We just we, we want one Corruption up so that it will spawn a Hideous Amalgam. And we're just going to sit here until we have nine Corrupted Bloods. And then uh, we're going to let him roll again. And once he's done rolling, I'm going to come into the middle here. And AOE down these Bloods to make a little pool. And then I'm going to pop the Corruption so that the Amalgam will spawn. I'm going to keep sidestepping back and forth so he doesn't roll. And then this hideous amalgam will come in and get his nine stacks very quickly since we had all that stuff grouped up. And then we will make sure we're at Deathwing's front. And then we will kill the amalgam so that it does its nuclear blast. And just keep sidestepping so that he doesn't roll again. Then we're going to kill the tendon and rinse and repeat. So we're going to kill these two corruptions here in the front and let the one back there stay actually we're going to go over to the other side though to get as far away as possible from the live corruption and we'll just wait here as you can see he's about to roll and the hideous amalgams will fly away but the corrupted bloods will not we <laughs> so now we'll just sit here and wait for nine corrupt nine corrupted bloods again this method actually gets easier as you progress up his back because you have more space to work with and more uh, more grasping tentacle tendril areas. The, grasp, the tendril areas are what spawn the blood. So when you have more of them, they spawn more quickly. So it goes more quickly and it's easier because there's more space to work with. So now with that corruption that far away, we can very easily AoE these down without risking killing the amalgam. Now I'm on a rogue, so I don't have as much range as... Say, for example, a druid, but it will work. Okay, I believe we have more than enough Corrupted Blood, so we'll wait for him to finish his roll. And then we will go ahead and pop the Corruption over here with our ranged attack. And hit our AoE to kill off the Bloods. Then start sidestepping so that we don't get thrown off. And wait for our Amalgam to come get its buff. Come on, get the rest of them. There we go. And then we need, just need to do it one more time. So that's it. That is how you do solo the Deathwing flying on his back fight. Nice and easy once you know how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.